Hello everybody, my name is Mark, I'm a computer science and psych major at NYU, and today I'm here to kind of talk about personality tests. Um, it was just something I've been, I've been interested in it for a while, uh, and I took the test ages ago, and I've taken like three times since to see if I've changed, um, but I, recently I've been looking into it more just because it's, I don't know, something, something about it just kind of came up, and I didn't have a video on Monday, uh, the weekend, I had a long weekend, but um, I didn't really... I don't know, I, I was in here the entire time. I was gonna make a vi I, I don't know. I'm doing the month videos, and so that's taking a while. I want to read a lot more this year. I was kind of, I was, I don't know. I read one book in January, <laughs> but I started, I started a bunch. <laughs> Through the past month, I started four books. Pixar storytelling, it's a really short book. I started that, and then I put it down because I found The Book Thief in my room. Uh, started that, and then I put it down. Light the Dark, I started this a while, while ago. Wasn't too far into it. Read a bunch more. I do want to read it, but then I got bored of it. And then I picked up Behave. Great book. I've already read it once. Not even halfway through. Just because my, my interest in neuroscience peaked. And then today, I read a book by Anne Rand called We the People a while ago, and her name came up in a Google search. Or not We the People, that's the Constitution. We the Living. Objectivism, her philosophy and stuff is cool. It's a big-ass book. So now I have five books started and none finished this month. And then I have this I want to read. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, the test you can take is called the Myers-Briggs personality test and essentially gives you four letters, I guess, that represent a different part of your personality. So if you go online and look up Myers-Briggs personality test, you can come upon a website called 16 Personalities. Um, and it's it's a great test. I think it's pretty accurate. It shows you some popular people, some characters, some fake characters even, and what personalities they show. And I, I, I think it's unique uh, in the sense that you can really get insights into yourself in a sense. Uh, and I'll go over that in a second. But you, know, you might have heard these terms thrown around before, and if this is totally new to you, um, you know, you know, here we are. It's pretty much four letters. It's I or E, uh, S or N, T or F, and then J or P. So each of those four. I'm not gonna worry about the dash T or anything like that for now. Uh, but pretty much, uh, I, don't know, I just wanna break it down real quick just to, so instead of saying, oh, I'm INFJ and thinking of it as a whole, you can think of each part individually. And then I'm gonna go through the test really quick and kind of break down each bit. I don't know, I, I just, I just, I need a video this week. I just need to get one out and I didn't have anything um, kind of rambling. Uh, this video is not gonna be very cohesive, so I apologize for not, you know, being great. Um, but anyway, extroverted or introverted is the first one. So E or I. Um, now, you might think of the general terms introvert and extrovert, where introvert, you know, gets their energy from being alone, takes a lot of energy being with each other. Extroverts get energy from being with each other, takes a lot of energy being alone. Uh, it's your general attitude. Do you know, do you want to go out and spend your day with friends, or would you rather be inside a little while with maybe talking with some friends here and there? I feel like that's always the one associated that people usually know about personality types, because introvert and extrovert are thrown around all the time. And then there's sensing, and then there's intuition. So sensing intuition is kind of similar um, in a sense of extroversion, introversion, uh, where extroversion is kind of energy towards the external, towards the outside world, and introversion is more energy internal. Sensing and intuition is kind of like you take external facts and or external information, and that becomes you know fact that becomes your source of information. Uh, whereas intuition is more of an internal, what you perceive, what you believe um, is how you perceive the world. So all in all, it's like you believe stuff uh, externally if you're sensing, um, or if you're intuitive, you're believing what, what you, your interpretations of. Third letter is T slash F, thinking or feeling. So this is kind of straightforward, but it's about kind of how you process information. Uh, do you think a lot about it or do you rely on your emotions um, to interpret that information, right? So, uh, you know, if you're thinking, you might logic versus how you feel. As a thinking person, I, <laughs> I've i kind of questioned this a lot um, internally, especially over the past like 16 or so months, uh, 17, 18 months or so, year and a half. Just like really, I stop overthinking the simplest things and stop overanalyzing uh, and just, just act, you know? And then judging and perceiving. So this is taking the information you have and then applying it pretty much. Judging and perceiving kind of, it's, it's kind of strange, but judging is kind of like, you, you, you stick to your plan, right? So for example, um, I have a plan. This is, this is today. Uh, and right now I'm supposed to be either reading or writing or working on my psych uh, textbook reading, but I'm recording this video. So quite the exemplification or uh, example of cross between J and P, uh, J and P. Anyway, so judging is kind of like you, you really stick to a plan. You're ordered, 
Um, you're, you're inclined to follow what you've already set out to do, and perceiving, like all the other ones, is the opposite. You act very somewhat intuitively, but also uh, intrinsically, what's the word? Improvising, I guess, and and you're 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 pretty good with you going with alternative options. So those are the four letters kind of explained. Hopefully that helps. Um, you know, if you go and break this test down to understand it a little bit more, the website does give you insights into your work, friends, romantic, like all these relationships and like all these aspects of life, and it's quite quite cool to read because you might answer questions you didn't know you had. Done with that, I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna go ahead and take the test here. Um, so I have about 20 minutes to do this, <laughs> kind of all the time. I would really recommend it. Doesn't it takes like 10, 15 minutes? I imagine I'm gonna get INFJ. As far as I know, you go through different categories, so it has different things here. You find it difficult to introduce yourself to other people. I'm gonna cut this in and out because I feel like it's also very personal. Um, but the questions aren't that bad. You know? Also, the more time you spend thinking about it, I believe the more accurate it will be. Also, it will tell you this when you start the test. Uh, try not to go neutral on any of these answers. Um, cause that doesn't affect your score. Uh, so really try to, you know, hit somewhere on the scale. And my results are, look at that, INFJ-T, didn't see that one coming. So yeah, again, I got 54% judging, 46% perceiving, or prospecting, same thing. Um, so yeah, this test is really cool because it, it gives you all of these kind of specifics. Um, this dash T here, assertive and turbulent, um, if you're assertive, you are, you're set on a decision. Uh, if you're turbulent, you're gonna go back and forth a little bit. Um, so that kind of comes into uh, thinking, feeling decisions, but you know, again, it's its own thing. So at the top there, clearly I'm, I'm not very extroverted. There are scenarios in which I kind of turn on a character in a sense. Um, knowing someone's personality type can tell you a lot about them, but as always, don't use this to to justify anything, to make excuses for anything. It's just cool to kind of have an insight on it. Um, I just, I, I, I wanna reinforce the point, you know, if someone's super successful just because they're, it's not, it's not just, people aren't super successful just because they're personality type or something. Um, personality type plays a lot, plays a big role in who you are, but your book is, uh, your book's not written, you're writing it, to put it that way. I feel like I can sit here and justify these all day, but, uh, not gonna do that. Anyway, just to finish this up, um, you hit start reading here, uh, and it go, goes ahead and tells you everything you need to know about yourself. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say it one more time. No, uh, it, this is not everything about you. This is not you. It's, sure, it's it's the foundation of you, but um, your percentages are gonna be different up here. You're gonna probably be a different personality type than me. It's just how it is. But. Again, like I, I've, I've referred to this a few times, especially in the past two or three weeks, on friendships, relationships, and career paths, and workplace habits. Because those are the four things I'm trying to get better at, or actually have. It's just kind of cool, because it says, oh, you know, I act this way, this way, this way, maybe I should try this. Or it can tell you, oh, INFJs have a hard time cold approaching people, or talking, walking up to random people and saying hi. Um, so then you can say, oh, maybe I'll try that. It, in a sense, I'm not gonna speculate too much because I could go on and on about this, but I think an overall idea of a personality type, I think what you should take away from it is what your comfort zone is, right? So you can be an introvert, intuitive, feeling, judging, turbulent person like me, but that doesn't mean you can't go out and do extroverted things. So you can be an introvert, intuitive, feeling, judging, turbulent person like me, but that doesn't mean you can't go out and do extroverted things. It doesn't mean you can't um, think more logically. I'm su I was surprised that I didn't get INTJ. I know at the start of high school that was my thing, but then at the end of high school and now INFJ is my main thing. Let this define your comfort zone, I guess. Um, don't let it define you. Again, I can't say that enough. Take this because it's interesting. It, it provides details about you know who you are biologically. Um, so how, how you can kind of work with that. Um, and what you can push, you know, maybe you've always wondered, oh, why, why am I not good at this? Or why can't I be friendly with people or be good at making friends at <laughs> me? Um, you're not alone. I don't know. This is this is just 
this is just that. My favorite part about this is it, it'll have different um, celebrities at the bottom here, uh, and James Wilson. I, I definitely, he's always been my favorite character in house. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna end that off there again. Let this, you know, speak to you however it should, but don't let it define you. Use it for your own self-improvement uh, so you, you can help define your comfort zone. Like everything you read in here, you'll be able to apply to a part of your life. Also, if you go through the top of the URL, it has the four letters dash personality, change those to whatever, and you can get um, all the different personality types. And I'm sure like Zodiac signs, Things from there will apply to you here, but a lot more than zodiac signs will not apply to everyone. Anyway, now I'm really rambling. Um, thank you, PayPal. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you for watching this ramble video, this talk video. It's 24 minutes. I'll definitely be able to shorten that down to like 14, 15. I probably lost you either at the books or constantly rambling on this point. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome.